friends welcome to our channel all about electric vehicles so we are discussing about more interesting things in electric vehicle topic in electric vehicle technology so before that we are going to the topic please subscribe our channel and click the bell button nearby you so that you will be getting the periodic notifications today we are going to discuss about the basic lithium ion battery range calculation that is mileage calculation if you want to design an electric bike or electric car please uh, do visit to visit the video we have posted already the link is given in the description about how to choose a motor for the electric vehicle then after that only you can select the battery capacity so in this video where the what are the basic calculation only one page calculation with the three steps uh, what are the basic calculation involved in selecting the lithium ion battery for a particular motor you have selected already for an electric vehicle let us see how to calculate the range or mileage of lithium ion battery in terms of ampere hour which is commercially commercial name for an electric vehicle let us take an example to run an electric bike with 48 volt 1500 watts bldc motor that you have already selected for a particular electric bike how much ampere hour of lithium ion battery is needed to run this motor of an electric bike only three steps we have which will be very simple step one first find out how much current in amperes consumed by the motor to run to run the motor how much current it is taking we know that basically power is equal to voltage into current so motor power is 1500 watts then voltage of motor is 48 volt we can easily calculate the current equal to 1500 divided by 48 equal to 31.25 amperes this is the theoretical current consumed by the 1500 watts motor next step 2 you have to find out the watt hour of the battery this is the term commercially available to buy the battery watt hour or ampere hour both the terms we can use but both are different for buying the battery we can use watt hour of the battery otherwise ampere hour of the battery so to run the 1500 watts motor for one hour simply multiply the 1500 watts power into one hour you will be getting 1500 watt hour we can take the efficiency of the battery for 80 percentage why we are taking this efficiency means so normally you can see the uh, normal phone phone battery in that uh, after you will be reaching the 20 percentage or 15 percentage of the battery uh, the phone will be saying you to charge the battery charge the uh, cell phone why because this is the efficiency so for with that consideration uh, if the battery is about uh, 20 percentage it needs to be charged so only 80 percentage of the battery charge is used for running the bike so that we are taking uh, instead of 1500 watt hour you will be taking some more more watt hour so that you can uh, run the uh, bike with, without any loss so taking the efficiency 80, 80 percentage uh, that is 1500 divided by 0 0.8 equal to 1875 watt hour if we if you choose 1875 watt hour means the after some losses also you will be uh, able to run the motor you have selected you should not take as it is the 1500 watt hour uh, battery capacity you should take some above uh, above level above value of the uh, watt hour battery capacity so this is the required uh, watt hour that is battery capacity of the lithium ion battery but uh, in uh, in commercially available battery uh, they will be saying in terms of ampere hour also so that 
uh, we are going to convert the watt hour into ampere hour that is the step 3 already we saw power equal to voltage into current also we can write it rewrite is rewrite it as uh, power power means unit is watt or watt hour if you run the uh, motor for one hour watt hour equal to voltage same current unit is ampere for one hour means ampere hour so now substituting 1875 equal to 48 into ampere hour you will be getting the ampere hour equal to 1875 divided by 48 that is 39.06 ampere hour that is uh, you can round it off as 40 ampere hour what it indicates means to run the 1500 watts motor for one hour for only one hour 48 volt 40 ampere hour lithium battery is needed okay suppose you assume the electric bike is running at an average speed of 35 kilometer per hour then you will be needing you will be uh, uh, needing uh, some 48 volt 40 ampere hour battery it means uh, if the bike is running at 35 kilometer per hour speed means after one hour it will be reached 35 kilometers right if an average speed take it take as an ex example so it means 48 volt 40 ampere hour provides 35 kilometer mileage okay so consider if if you want 35 kilometer mileage range you need to select 48 volt 40 ampere hour lithium ion battery if you want 70 kilometer mileage range uh, range this mileage means uh, per per charge per single charge how many kilometer you can travel in an electric bike that is the mileage or range if you want 70 kilometer mileage per charge per per single single charge you need 48 volt 80 ampere hour lithium ion battery if you want 105 kilometer mileage per single charge you need to install 48 volt 120 ampere hour lithium ion battery in your electric vehicle so this is the basic very basic calculation uh, to select a lithium ion battery for any electric vehicle now hope you understand if you have any doubts please comment below the video we'll be clearing that doubts thank you and all the best